Today on Maker's Mashup, the first part in our series on Marlin commands and codes. Welcome to the first part in our series on Marlin commands and G-codes. This series is really designed to be an introduction to Marlin for new 3D printer users. And while most slicing software today handles G-codes for you, knowing G-code can be helpful in taking your 3D printing skills to the next level. In this series, we will start by covering the most commonly used G-codes. And today we're gonna to talk about the tools that you will use to communicate with Marlin directly. We will then get into the G1 command, which is the fundamental command for moving your nozzle around the print bed. So click subscribe so you don't miss a single one of these episodes. And remember, you can always refer back to these videos later as you need more information or an example. So let's get to work. The Marlin firmware is software that is stored on your 3D printer that you communicate with, and that is what does all of the motion control of your 3D printer. We're going to be using a serial connection over USB to communicate with Marlin. Now, we're going to be using the prompter face application in all of our examples, but you can also use other applications like Octoprint or Cura directly in order to communicate with your 3D printer. We'll start by going to the Pronter Face website. It's just pronterface.com and a link is in the description. Then under download, we're going to download the Windows version here and there's also an OS X version. If you download it through Git, you can install it and run it on Linux as well. For our example, we're going to use the Windows version here without Slicer included. You can download this with Slicer, but we're going to use it without because we're not going to do any slicing. We're just going to be controlling our 3D printer. So we're going to select the last one in the list here and download it to our PC. Then we're going to want to open this up and do a show in folder. And then we're going to want to right click and extract all. Once it is extracted, you're going to want to open the folder and inside it, you'll see the prompter face and then click that to run and execute prompter face. Now that you have prompter face installed, let's talk about our motion control G codes. There are three that we're going to cover in today's episode. The G0 and G1 allow you to move the print head around the print bed and G28 will home your print head to the front left corner. The G0 and G1 commands are syntactically the same, so they do the same thing. However, the G1 tells Marlin that you plan to do an extrusion next. So when you're moving around the print bed manually, it really makes no difference which one you use. You might find it easier, however, to remember G0 as go, so that way when you wanna make your printer go, you use the G0 command. So let's take a look at this in action. So I have Pronter Face loaded here, and what you'll want to do is connect with Pronter Face to your COM port. And when you click connect, it will respond and tell you over on the right hand side that it's online. Now, at this point, you're ready to start sending Pronter Face and ultimately Marlin commands to move your printer. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and try our G28 command. We're going to start with that one, and that's going to home our printer. So we just type G28 and press Enter. Now you can see that everything moves on the print bed, and it goes to the home position on the printer. So now that it's in the home position, we're going to move the nozzle to the center of the print bed. So I know that my print bed is 200 by 200. So the first thing I'm going to do is raise the nozzle up and I can execute my G0. And then I'm going to tell it that we want to move the Z axis. Now the next number that you place there will move the print head to that position on your Z axis. So in this case, we're going to move it up. So we're going to start by moving it up 15 millimeters. So G0, Z15. And now you can see that the print head has moved up the Z axis 15 millimeters. So now we're gonna want to move the 
X and Y axis. So before we just moved the Z axis up 15 millimeters and we moved it up using one command. The G0 command can accept multiple positions on the Cartesian coordinates to move it to a specific position. So in this case, we're going to say we want to move it to X100 and Y100. And the print head moves to the center of our bed. Now, if we want to combine this with three moves, we can include a Z. So let's go to Y10 and we're going to go to X10 and we're going to go to Z10. So we're going to put the Z10 at the end and now it will move all three axes at the same time. So there you can see where you can easily move our print bed anywhere that we want and put the nozzle anywhere we want on our 3D printer. Now where this is handy is if I want to add code before or after, and many people add code after a print is done so that way you can move your print bed all the way out and make it easier to get your print off. So in that case, let's say we wanna do that at the end of our print. So we want to go to Y200, which is the position that is furthest from the back. And then we want to make our print nozzle go to one millimeter and one millimeter on the X and Z scale. And there you have it. We would be able to remove our 3D print here. When we're all done and we're ready for our next print, we just enter that G28 command and the 3D printer will home all of your access back to the start position. So I think you'll agree that sending commands manually to your 3D printer is rather simple. Today we covered the G0 and G1 commands to move our print head where we wanted it and we used the G28 command to home the printer. In future videos, we're gonna cover more of the Marlin commands in depth, so be sure to subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss a single episode. And that concludes our video for today. If you enjoyed it, please mash that like button and we would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.